Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Potluck, your everything and anything talk and entertainment TV show. My name is Laura Hartman, and I am your host. Today we have two wonderful guests joining us, uh, one who is returning and happened to be on our Christmas show. Um, we have Ramona Beckchelder, who is the owner of the Creative Dance Center, and with her is her assistant director, Vivian Monroe. So welcome, welcome back. You were here for Christmas, for our Christmas show. So how, yes. How are you um, doing? Great. Thank you. Um, we have been very busy. Mm -hmm. Our competition team out of our Chantilly studio, as well as dancers from uh, the Ashburn and South Riding studios have been very active lately. We've recently had a benefit performance, mm -hmm. and that benefit performance uh, was a collaborative uh, progress between the 200 dancers on the competition team, the 60 dancers on the performing troupe, and the 40 that are part of the All-Stars. Wow. So their collaborative efforts, including all of their uh, parents who volunteered, who made some amazing uh, props and helped with the whole production of the performance, were able to raise $12,000 for some community organizations. Uh, we uh, presented to the Malone Foundation, mm -hmm. which is a foundation that honors eighth grade students in Loudoun County uh, with $4,000 a check uh, last Saturday. And we also presented a check to the Loudoun Abuse Women's Shelter for $4,000. And, and it's a, an organization that we've been supporting for a while as well as a $4,000 check to Paxton. Paxton campus is in Leesburg, and it's uh, a very uh, developed program for special needs children and their families, and it supports them quite a bit with uh, various programs. One of the projects that they have coming up is to build a performing arts fitness center, mm -hmm. and part of it will include a theater that is completely accessible, so we've earmarked our donation to them for building of that theater. Oh, wow. So the competition team dancers, uh, which ha were part of that, have also been recently recognized by the Loudoun County Board of Supervisors. They were uh, uh, re awarded uh, uh, a commendation for their performance at the world competition last August where they won six out of nine of the world championships when they competed at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. And today you'll see some of the videos of their dances which is very exciting. You'll see a real cross of different styles mm -hmm. and get to see uh, some of the props that the parents have created uh -huh. um, and it'll be a, a fun uh, uh, show for, for, I think, the audience to be able to see sure. what they've been doing. Sure. So the first piece that you're going to see mm -hmm. um, is uh, fitting that it's called World, okay. and it has 50 dancers in it. So some of our pieces are huge productions and some of them are smaller, and it shows, uh, again, one of the amazing props that the parents built, and I think you'll really enjoy this piece. Okay, great. Fantastic.
Wow, that was amazing. So what, what, tell us about the next one that we're going to watch. Well, it's also choreographed by the, the two choreographers who did the first piece. Mm -hmm. And they are uh, Jamie uh, Fry Pillmore and Stacy Fry Kiefer. Okay. And uh, they have choreographed quite a few pieces at Creative Dance Center. This one coming up uh, shows how expressive the dance can be. This particular style is lyrical and the piece is Raise Me Up. Okay.
and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shore. Great. Wow. That was amazing. So um, tell us about the next one. Well, Jamie and Stacy also choreographed this one. Okay. But what's uh, amazing about this piece is this is the one that they actually won the Car TV National Choreography Award, which was held on the West Coast. So this choreography uh, award was given to the top choreographer for the country. Wow. And um, this piece that you will see is called Falling Slowly. Okay. Now, are there, is there, are there any themes to each of these? They each have a theme, definitely. Okay. They tell a story, and that's what's amazing about the choreography. Okay. You can really grasp the, the, the story in the sense of what they're portraying they through the movement and through um, the whole, uh, the way that they, they build up. Mm -hmm. and, and they're so musical in their choreography as well. I think you'll see that in the piece as well. Oh, great. Okay. So let's watch the next one here.
was great. So let's go move on to the next one. Well, this piece, uh, again, you will see uh, some of the amazing uh, prop building that the parents have come up with. Uh, they are so innovative, and the, the piece that you'll see has props that depict um, a scene from uh, the Great Gatsby movie. Yeah. And it, they put the pieces together before they perform each time they go on stage. Mm -hmm. um, so this one coming up is called Will. Okay. Is will you? Oh, will you? Mm -hmm. Sorry. So called Will you? Okay. And and before we before we watch, um, so there's a lot of parent um, participation, mm -hmm. and you said with with the pro they build the props themselves. Yes, they do. They construct out? them. They they plan them. They. Um, they go. They work with the choreographer to see how it's going to work with the dancers. Okay. Um, the choreographer gives them their concept, and then they come up with ideas, and then they construct them, and they also paint them. And wow! <laughs> it's wow! Just so amazing. that's great to have. Yes. Well, yeah. especially parent children participation. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Okay. Great. So let's check it out. Yeah, the, the amazing use of the prop. Because a lot of times we'll just see scenery, but in this particular case, they use the prop to the full studio advantage. I mean, that's what's, it told the story. It yeah. helped tell the story. Oh, yeah. Plus, not only that, but they had the technique involved all together, all the shirts. As a dance teacher myself, to watch a number so amazingly choreographed and on top of it, they executed the use of the prop as well. Great job by them. And also, a great shout out goes to the guys and gals who carried that prop all the way from the city they came from. 
How about that? Yeah, all the moms and dads, all the props, moms and dads in the back. Uh, I said it yesterday, you can't seriously have a good competition team without a good bunch of prop dads and helpful moms, that's yeah, for sure. This is true. So congratulations to them. At Creative Dance Center, we have programs for all ages. We start as young as 18 months old with our baby ballerina program. Mm -hmm. We have classes for all different levels and interest level as well. For example, the performing troupe dancers perform for community events. They're going to be performing at the uh, uh, Disney pretty soon here at, at during spring break. Oh, wow. And they perform in the mall and for uh, example, uh, uh, senior centers mm -hmm. and, and different events. Then we also have an all-stars group that performs uh, more of a dance team style jazz and mm -hmm. hip hop. Mm -hmm. And it gives them a chance to compete as well, but in different style. And we also have the Nutcracker in a Shell All Jazzed Up, which we were uh, lucky enough to be able to show you some right. of mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. And that show encompasses all different ages and all different levels as well. We encourage dancers to try out and see if they, what would be a good fit for them. Okay. Um, we also have other, other programs at the studio. We have an after school program, which mm -hmm. is, includes all full day dance camps. We also have um, birthday parties, so it's very active oh. with four locations, right, with two in right. Ashburn, one in South Riding, one in Chantilly. It's a very active, busy kind of a studio. Sure, <laughs> sure. So, so what's, what's next? Or like, you know, as far as the world championship, um, this was between the United States and Canada, and eventually it'll grow into something bigger. Mm -hmm. um, how, is the, how does the word get out about this, and how do the dance centers like yours you know, spread the word about what you're doing and getting, you know, other dancers to, or kids well, to participate and even adults. They, they compete at regional levels and then they qualify to compete at the national level. Mm -hmm. And as they're competing at the different competitions, they have to earn um, a, a point system in order to qualify to even compete at Worlds. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot they had to go through before they even got to the Worlds competition. Okay. So the next uh, program for them is going to be, uh, for the competition team, is Nationals. And then Worlds comes later in the summer. Oh, okay. Um, they're also going to be holding a, a showcase of their pieces. Mm -hmm. So on um, June the 13th, we'll have a showcase um, of competition team pieces at our uh, Freedom High School in South Riding in the evening. Oh, okay. And you can check out the website to see uh, when it will be held exactly. It's, uh, the website is www.cdcdance.com okay. and uh, also Facebook for um, information. We are constantly updating. Okay, fantastic. So um, tell me about your role as, as the um, creative studio director, and I understand that you teach tap as well. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I'm one of the dance teachers. This is my 11th year with Creative oh, wow. Dance Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, I provide support at the Ashburn Studio. Um, luckily, we have our, a, a, quite a number of dancers there from the recreational dancers who come once a week through our performing troupe and our competition team. So I feel like I have a chance to meet all the dancers and mm -hmm. have um, n enjoy their energy. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So Vivian supports our director, Margaret Otto, as um, the assistant director, and we have found that that's been really helpful to have um, support throughout the programs. It's very organized, and it's we've been actually in business since 1983. Oh, wow. So for our studios, it's we've been our first studio in Chantilly we started 28 years ago. Oh wow. So wow. Over the years we have found what works well for um, enabling us to do the kinds of programming and offer the kinds of programming for the parents and the children that mm -hmm. we have. Well it sounds like you've come a long way yeah. over this yeah. amount of time. Um, I'm sure it was a you know it was a different place in time back then and um, you know I, how many how did you get the word out then or how did you, did you? Wow, it's, it, it's, it's certainly different now for sure. Uh, I mean, with, with the social media as it is, it's so much easier to get the word out for even things like snow days. <laughs> but we've had staff who have been with us for a very long time. The director of our Chantilly studio, 
Mm -hmm. um, Mrs. Jenny Fry was very, very instrumental in, in giving that program direction that has, has enabled it to go where it is now. And we've had, for example, teachers who have been with us for a very long time. The program director for our Nutcracker, uh, Geraldine Ward, has been with us for many years. It's uh, coming on 25 years. Wow. So I think that says a lot when, uh -huh. the, when your staff stays with sure, the program sure. that long because yeah. then they build what they're working on and they have ownership with the programs that they're building and it works mm -hmm. really well. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today and the videos were awesome and I'm sure everybody will love them. And to find out more information about the Creative Dance Center, go to www.cdcdance.com. And if you're just come tuning into us now, make sure you catch us on the web at www.potluck-online.org. And we'll see you next time.